All right, we're doing a dedicated video about how to measure a stone for specific gravity. Now, a lot of people won't care, but it is very informative when it comes to evaluating older Washitas, hard to soft Arkansas, and everything in between. That's what people want to know most. So what you do is you get your postal scale, turn it to grams, and what I put on all these stones are what I call it the dead weight, or I'll call it grams dry. So this stone measures 628 grams dry. You get a tub with some water. You tear it out to zero. It's still in grams. Now the trickiest part is getting some fishing line and you wrap it like a Christmas bow. And I say it's the trickiest because it takes a little touch to get it to stay and every stone's a little different, but you basically want to get a good grip on it like so. Make sure it's at least a little balanced. Submerge it, but don't let it touch the bottom. 286 grams suspended. So I'll turn that off. 286. So the grams dry is 628. We're going to take that and divide it by the gram suspended. 628 divided by 286 suspended. And this is actually a little surprising because it's lighter than I would have imagined. This measures specific gravity of 2.19580, etc., etc., etc. I usually don't go more than three decimal points. <laughs> Now, why is that surprising to me? Because this is a little bit of a harder Washita. Um, <clears throat> let's go into it while we got a minute. Washitas have by far and away the greatest range of specific gravity I've seen. I've seen them as low as 2 and as high as 2.5 before they become true hard Arkansas proper, in my opinion. <clears throat> um, so because it's a lighter density or specific gravity, doesn't necessarily mean that it's softer or more friable. It's independent. It's kind of more the porosity and the spacing of the crystalline structures of the novaculites. Like this one has a little bit of butterscotch and it's translucent, so this one will probably be, it's going to be denser. It's going to have a higher specific gravity. Now, it's also useful to identify your food group of stones. Like slates are going to be 2.7s to 2.8s. Your sandstones are going to be in the 2.2 range. Um, you get kind of interesting things that happen around the 2.48 to 2.5 or 6 range that are not novaculites. They can be schists. Um, they can be shale. Um, so... That's the quick and dirty method to measure stones for a specific gravity. If you're so inclined, it's very easy. The toughest trick is just wrapping it with a fishing line and dipping it. So hope that helps some of you uh, along in discovering what stones you have.